you guys so for this video I wanted to share with you guys my prayer board and how I made it um, I picked up this cork board from Target and I think I paid about eight dollars I printed out all of these pictures and I grabbed all of them from Pinterest from Pinterest I got this envelope and it's actually one envelope that was really long and I just cut it in half and then I had grabbed some index cards also from Target and they're just the colored ones so that I can just kind of have some color in this So I kind of want to just share with you guys kind of the purpose of my prayer board and what I added to it. Honestly, all of it is about praying, dedicating my life to God, and to remain present in Him. The really only thing I have to talk about is what's in the envelope. So what I did was I put a prayer side and, and I put my prayers in here. And this is something I can add throughout the year um, whenever I feel like I have something on my heart to pray about or um, or someone to pray for and then when the prayer is answered it just comes over here and as you can see I already have a couple in there from the start of this year so this is just my little reminder to you to create yourself a prayer board it's never too late you can do this at any time of the year at any point in your life and just remember to maybe make this like a tradition because this is something honestly I think I would like to do next year with people like maybe family friends, even my husband, my kids. So really quickly, I just want to explain to you guys what's going to happen. Um, my mom and I are actually doing this three-day fast with my church, and it starts tomorrow. So we're doing a fast for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I wanted to explain really quickly the reasoning and what it entails. So if you don't know, fasting is something that is told to, for us to do in the Bible. And we are expected to fast and use our our energy for hunger on God and pray throughout our fast and really just build that relationship that we have with them through prayer and worshiping and so I'm starting tomorrow and I'm actually going to be only drinking so the church fast is from sun up to sundown so after the sun, when the sun's not up we can eat um, I'm gonna have a little slight change to that so I'm gonna have coffee before the sun comes up I will only be able to drink water for the next three days and I will be eating salad, soup, and vegetables, and that is because I'm nursing my son. And so to avoid dropping my milk supply, I am going to have some sort of food throughout the day, which is just vegetables for the most part. Um, so I want to be vlogging this next few days just to share how it goes and what I, like my purpose for fasting. So since I'm on my way to work, I thought I would just go ahead and explain my purpose. So I do have four really big um, reasons to do this fast. Um, I'm not going to go into detail because that is between me and God, but I will give you guys general, um, general points. So number one, I'm praying for my husband. Number two, I'm praying for my anxiety. Number three, I'm praying for my kids' future education. And number four, I am praying for a home. The other one is my career. Um, so those five areas actually are the areas that I am seeking God's guidance and I'm just surrendering in those areas so that God can lead me and guide me to where he wants me to be. And so I just wanted to share those points with you. So if anyone is interested in maybe a trying a fast out or maybe finding a way to get connected and closer to God, maybe try fast. Um, I'm not saying I've done this before. This was my first time really, really having a purpose behind a fast. In the past, I have um, attempted fast, like a fast, but it always comes to an end because, you know, I don't have my purpose. I'm not driven for it. But what makes this fast so much different from me trying one on my own is one, I have accountability with my mom. Um, my husband might do it as well. He hasn't confirmed, but I have the accountability of someone else doing it with me. Not only my mom, but the entire church. We're, ch we're doing this fast as a church. And so Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night, there are church services. And so I will try to 
record little clips here and there to incorporate because I really want this documented for my purposes to see my strength and to see how God moves in my life throughout the next few days. Got some carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, and some salads. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Today is the 24th of January and day one of my fast. So this morning I did my devotion or my Bible study and then I um, wrote in my prayer journal just to kind of, I kind of have been putting my prayers in my um, my preparation for my fast everywhere i put sticky notes on my prayer board on what it is that i'm fasting for i wrote in my journal this morning just like i just need that continuous reminder on my purpose and that's what will help me get through it i think my mind is trying to like over overthink it but like in reality like a normal day at work i only get a really short break for lunch and I usually like will just eat my food really quickly. I'm never like going out to eat. I'm never like overeating. I'm literally eating like just to survive, like enough food to eat. And so I don't know why I'm overthinking or letting myself overthink about this process because I don't really eat that much throughout the day. Until I get home is where I know I struggle because I'll get home from work ready, like so hungry. I snack before dinner, like from three o'clock. I'm ready, like at three o'clock, I'm ready to eat. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Um, I'm right here just planning and prepping um, during this period. And I am starting to think of food. So I'm actually going to eat some of my carrots right now and drink some water and um, continue to work. Hey, you guys. It's me. It's 3 o'clock and I'm almost home. I have drank almost 80 ounces of water. I had one salad with no dressing. And for dinner, because I am going to have dinner before I go to church, so about 4.30, 5 o'clock, I'm going to cook some um, turkey, cheese turkey sliders that I, I just seen this recipe on Pinterest and I wanted to try it out. Today is day two of my fast. Last night, we went to church and worshipped. It was worship night. During the worship, they had some baptisms taking place in the back and so they were showing it and I thought that was really it was really I had a really emotional night just being in the word and praying and so far I feel like God has been already speaking to me and I have been taking note on the things that he's telling me and like what he's wanting me to do all right you guys here is today two it's almost three o'clock. Um, I will let you guys know that for sure. Today was a lot harder than yesterday. I, um, at like 11.30, I got really hungry and I ate my carrots before lunch. And then at lunch, I had my salad and uh, I was just hungry and <laughs> I'm still hungry. And so I'm looking forward to cooking some dinner. I'm making some tacos tonight for dinner, like Taco Bell crunch tacos. I'm gonna go home and hang out with the kids before I need to cook dinner, but I just wanted to show you guys or tell you guys how I was feeling today. Just really hungry, honestly. Um, I just kept drinking my water to push through, but I'm hungry. <laughs> and so let's go ahead and pray on our way home. Really quickly, I have to share this god moment with you guys on my way home from work like i always do i started praying and today specifically i was praying because i had dealt with a lot of temptation um on this fast i i did not realize like how god was really going to be using me and speaking to me and clarifying things for me but today i don't know what what it was but 
on my way home, I started praying and I was just asking God, like, or telling God, like, the things that I wanted, I did not need, and what I did need was right in front of me. And I stopped and realized that is literally God that I'm talking about. I was speaking on what I ate for food today, like the salad, the carrots were what I needed and what I was going to eat. But I was tempted with chips and chocolates and things like that all throughout the day. So that is similar to God. God is all I need, but we want all these other things. And when that clicked in my head, I just realized like, wow, like God is really just showing up and, and showing out for me. And I'm just shocked to see how quick he works. I'm having a hard time on the fast today. And he's like, you don't need nothing else. All you need is me. So I, I'm i just surprised and like thankful and blessed to hear his words. Good morning, you guys. Today is fasting day three. It's the final day of the fast. It's 7.30, I'm just now heading to work. But the church service went really well. Um, it was more worship, praying, and um, the entire church had hands laid on them. And so it was a cool experience to witness and to be a part of. Tonight's service is a guest speaker, Samuel Rodriguez. I'm excited to hear his message and to get some good notes. This fast has honestly just been the cherry on top of this, this just this journey that God has me a part of, and it's been really nice to just see His presence and to feel Him all around me each and every day. Like my mindset is completely changed, and like I feel like I'm just a lot easier to like not take things so seriously, to not get affected by things. Um, my mind doesn't get caught up in the nonsense. Like, I'm just, I just take it up to God. Like, anything that's bothering me, I just take it up to God. Um, my car rides have been filled with just worship and prayer. And that has just been, it's just been really nice. I'm going to just keep praying through this day and through this fast. And that God continues to answer my prayers and to just really speak and anoint me in this season because it's been such a blessing and i'm not saying this fast is what's been a blessing just like this relationship i've created with god and the consistency i've had with god i wake up every morning at 5 30 regardless of how much sleep i got the night before or what time i need to be at work like i'm making my first hour dedicated to god and i've been consistent for probably like two months now or even longer probably longer i don't know but it, every every morning the only time i'm not like and i don't make it a chore i make it a a get to not a have to and so i get to spend time with god every single day and i love that time because it's peaceful it's quiet and i'm waking my brain up to the word and it's acknowledgement like i'm i'm understanding he's clarifying things for me um from his word and in my life and it's just beautiful i have made it to work i got my lettuce i mean my salad and by the way this is a salad i don't know if i showed it but it has chicken bacon and eggs and i do not eat it with oh i'm too close i do not eat it with the dressing and so and then today i have my cucumbers or my cute yeah my cucumbers and my carrots in there i got my water I made it another day. Um, it is almost four o'clock. By the time I get home, it'll be four, which means I can eat dinner in about an hour. I'm sorry. Today will also be the first day all week that we eat out. We're gonna go out to eat. I meant to take meatballs out for dinner, but I guess I completely forgot and I swear I put them in the fridge, but I guess I didn't. So we have nothing prepared for dinner. So I'm going to figure out what we're going to go out to eat and I'm going to celebrate. This is a good way to celebrate. Love you, handsome. You're so handsome.